Hi, are you a person that likes to give things last minute, but also loves to decorate impulsively for Christmas? If the answer is yes, keep on watching. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Destiny, and if you're a returning subscriber, Welcome back to the family. This week's video is going to be a cozy little DIY session. We're going to be making some chunky knit blankets today. You can use this for yourself and you can even use it as a gift to give to someone else for Christmas. This is a really easy thing to do and fairly inexpensive. And we're also going to be doing some car interior decoration. So if you like decorating your car for the holidays, I hope this gives you some inspiration. Let's get into it. Yeah, get into it. For this throw blanket, I'm using four skeins of yarn. I'm using the Brene Blanket Big Yarn that I purchased from Michaels. Right now this yarn is buy one get one half off online and their prices usually fluctuate between six to ten dollars depending on the sale they have going on. I got each skein for about four dollars and they're also available at your local Joann's. Both of these craft stores usually have coupons available so just make sure you look into that to save some cash. I'm starting the blanket by creating a loop. I'm just taking the end of the yarn, wrapping it around my fingers, and pulling it all through the circle that we just made. The hand method really does help. It took me a few tries at first to get a good size loop, but after a few tries, you'll definitely get it. After that, you're going to pinch your fingers through that loop that we just made and pull through a new piece of the yarn. Again, all I'm doing is pinching my fingers through the loop and pulling through a new piece of yarn. This blanket is braided pretty loosely. I wanted a blanket that lets some air in for lounging, so if you want a tight knit blanket, make sure that you make your loops way smaller and make sure that all of your loops are approximately the same size. I'm gonna be repeating this looping process about 20 times. You can make more than 20 loops on your blanket depending on the size of the blanket that you're making. You can use eight skeins instead of four to make a larger blanket. In that case, you can make about 25 or more loops to fit to size. After I made my 20 loops, I'm going to add one more at the end and face it upwards. After this, I'm going to continue making loops facing the same direction by pinching my fingers through the base chain of loops that we made and pulling through a new piece of yarn. I will continue this row by row all the way up the blanket. One important thing to remember is to always make sure that you end up with the same amount of loops that you started with. Since I started with 20 loops on my base chain, I want to make sure that I continue to have 20 loops as I braid up my blanket. Once the first skein of yarn is finished, take the end of the yarn and attach a new skein to it. Give it a good old fashioned knot and keep on braiding. You can cut off the excess, but since mine is loose and chunky, I didn't feel the need to. Once you're at the end, make your last loop and keeping the same procedure that we started with, make a second loop and pull through. The only difference is that we're now pulling the second loop through the first one. After pulling through your new piece of yarn, we pull the second loop through the first one so that the edge of the blanket can connect and make a lateral braid. Again, all I'm doing is pulling the second loop through the first one so that the edge of the blanket can connect and make a lateral braid. And once I've run out of yarn and I'm ready to finish my blanket, all I'm going to do is tie that little end piece right into the edge of it by making a knot and hiding that knot by braiding it through the rest of the blanket. I'm not being too nitpicky about how the edges look because it is handmade and I want it to look rustic, but if you want to make it a little bit cleaner, you can cut off the excess. 
And this is the finished blanket. Very soft, comfortable, and honestly so pretty to look at. This makes a perfect cozy gift for the holidays and you can package it so easily. You could fold it and wrap it with a bow and call it a day. My boyfriend already stole this from me, so this is his Christmas gift. After we've broken our backs braiding forever, let's move on to Christmas decorating. For this Christmas card decoration, we'll need a throw blanket, stuffed animals, these are optional, I just love them, lights, and also pillows. I got these stuffed animals and pillows from Joann's, and the lights were a gift from my grandmother, but you can find lights like this in Target, Dollar Tree, or the Christmas store. We're using Gorilla Glue to tape all of these lights today, but feel free to use anything that you're most comfortable with to put inside of your own car, like hooks or any other alternatives. This is the final product. I absolutely love it and it makes my car feel so cozy. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, hit that notification bell and subscribe to my channel. It definitely helps me continue to bring out content for you guys. Have a happy holiday and I'll see you guys next week. Bye! <laughs> Everybody look at the snow in the yard.